Hey, what's up guys, welcome back to another exciting brand new visual effects tutorial. So, today in this tutorial I'm gonna teach you how to create a realistic super slow motion in After Effects without using any third party plugins. So, the my lit, let's get started. Well, okay guys, now we are in Adobe After Effects CC 2015. Let's import our slow motion raw footage. Well, okay guys, now this is our original footage. So, whenever you want to create a slow motion videos make sure that you record the footage in about 30 frames so here you can see that I recorded my footage at 240 frames per second well uh, and now here you can see my footage duration is 4 minutes 10 seconds let's increase that to let's increase the composition settings to maybe 30 seconds yes here we can see the composition settings is increased uh, well and now it's time to decide where we're going to slow our footage so i want to apply the slow motion shot i mean slow motion effect from here yes to do that just select the layer and press ctrl d to duplicate well and uh, just trim the layer i'm pressing alt left bracket and Alt right bracket yes and now uh, let's decide where you want to end the slow motion well I want to end my slow motion mm, yeah here just select the layer and click control shift D to duplicate to split the layer and select the second layer and right click there go to time go to time stretch and now it is set to 100 uh, yes it's set to 100 just increase that to maybe 800 hit ok and now move this to the end yeah that's enough and now right click on the first layer go to time go to time stretch and increase that to maybe uh, 250 hit OK and select the first layer go to time go to time stretch and increase that to mm, 300 yep and move these layers to right over here Okay, and then now let's take a preview. Well, okay, and now here you can see the footage is getting very slow, so and the motion is too smooth. Well, it's very perfect. Well, this is very good. So anyway, this is the uh, good process to create a slow motion videos without using any third party plugins. So we can also use the time warp effect. So instead of that, I think that this effect, I mean this method is very easy. So anyway, I, I hope you learned a lot from this. So okay guys, anyway, my name is Bert Kumar from Motion Studio. I hope you guys all enjoyed my tutorial and learned something new from this. If you think that this video is informative, simply hit the, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to be get updated whenever we upload new tutorials. By the way, thanks for watching.